Good morning, Massey. As this year is coming to a rapid end, I'd like to take some time to introduce our president and vice president for our next school year. Both these candidates ran unopposed in the election we held this spring, and they are here to briefly introduce themselves, as well as express their enthusiasm to be representatives for our student body and share some of their aspirations as future leaders for next year. On that note, I'd like to first welcome our 2022 to 2023 Vice President, Anthony Kalinowski, to the podium. Thanks, Saad. Okay, so yesterday evening, I was trying to find some good quotes to use in this speech, like from presidents or prime ministers. I had ideas like Trump's good old, the beauty of me is that I'm very rich, or maybe, I think we've done more than perhaps any president in the one first 100 years. I even considered our Justin Trudeau's saying, <clears throat> and the budget will balance itself. Unfortunately, I couldn't really find anything suitable, so I just settled with the classic one-liner everyone uses. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Antoni Klonowski, and I am proud to be standing on this podium and in front of this green screen as the future vice president of your Vincent Massey High School Student Council. I think it works. I can confidently say that the next school year will be a memorable one because you've got quite a fine pres and vice pres. Why do I say so? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's because we ran unopposed in this election. Let me rephrase that. Both of us came first out of one. I think that's quite a remarkable achievement. I mean, it's going to be the first thing on my resume for sure. Just like great people like Nelson Mandela and George Washington, we were able to summon the courage, leadership, and perseverance to break through the barriers in our society and submit our application to Ms. Gordon. After all, they say we stand on the shoulders of giants. We'll be walking through the marvelous footsteps of our inspirational president, Saad, to bring the school experience to an entirely new level. Now, now, you might be intensely listening to my words. You might also be scrolling through your phone in boredom, or you might be sleeping, or maybe you just went out to the washroom for the 50th time today. In any case, I'd like to express how honored I am to be in this position of the representative of the student body. I remember my first days at school. They were quite nerve wracking. It was like staring into a black hole, which then sucked me into the reality of high school. Someone would say hi and my, oh no, my hands would start shaking, my palms would start sweating and my teeth would start chattering. And I'd manage to force out, hello, my name is Antoni Klanowski. But quickly enough, I discovered how incredible the experience of being a Viking is. Vincent Massey is not just a school, but a strongly bonded community. I realized how this school isn't just a place where teachers have fun stuffing us with homework like a pillow, but rather a place where we connect with the people around us and enjoy ourselves like nowhere else. And that's what I intend to do. With events like grade wars and other sports tournaments that will allow you to release the energy you keep bottled up. And with significant fundraisers to give you the sheer satisfaction of contributing to a cause. I will make high school a once in a lifetime experience. You'll spend four years here. Well, maybe three or five or six. But as vice pres, I'm here to make high school one of the most memorable moments of your life. It's an honor to be here. Thank you, and I'll see you next year. <clears throat> Thank you, Anthony, for that beautiful speech. Almost had me tearing up. Next, I'd like to welcome James Lee to the podium. Hello, Vincent Massey. My name is James Lee, and I'm proud to say I will be your student council president for the 2022 to 2023 school year. If you don't know me, here's a little bit of background information about myself and my experience on student council. 
Currently, I'm a grade 11 student who's been a part of your student council since grade nine, starting as a general member, then landing the executive position as public relations officer in grade 10, and currently, I'm your vice president. These past three years on council have prepared me for the responsibilities of being president, and I cannot wait to represent our student body. Now, I'm sure you are all aware of the saying, life is like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're gonna get. Well, about two years ago, we opened our box of chocolates and got a global pandemic. Let's be real, I'm sick of hearing about it, I know you're sick of hearing about it, but suffering through the tough times of COVID-19 is something that we all have in common. From what I've seen, this pandemic has hit our school spirit with more force than Will Smith's open palm against Chris Rock's face at the Academy Awards. With that being said, now that restrictions have been lifted, as president, I will ensure that you all get the opportunity to show some real school spirit by having many more exciting events. I'm talking about dodgeball tournaments, a bunch of sports related events such as students versus staff volleyball and basketball games. I know next year will be the 50th annual Viking Classic, which means we have to show every competing team what we're made of. And don't think I forgot everyone's favorite, Grade Wars. The goal is to bring back the school spirit that Massey had when I was in grade nine. Everyone went all out no matter what it was. I remember seeing the halls filled with purple during the 2019 Viking Classic and hearing students cheering from the gym across the school. Even Grade Wars, which some of you just experienced last week, was something that I could never forget. It's these core memories that I have from specific events that I hope to leave you with, so that in a few years, when God forbid you forget what Y equals MX plus B is, at least you still remember the outrageous outfits you wore on Grade Wars or the feeling of screaming your lungs out for your fellow classmates during a big game. Now that you know what this pandemic has done to our school spirit and what I am willing to do to get things back on track, I believe that it is also important that we do not neglect our community or others that may be in need. Student Council isn't just about creating exciting events. We also wanna help support communities or organizations outside of our school. As president, I want to incorporate more opportunities to fundraise for people or places in need of our help. If we can accomplish these two goals, not only can we create a more uplifting environment within our school, but the communities that surround us can also benefit from our actions. I am absolutely honored to represent you all next year, and I'm excited to see what it has in store for us. Thank you. Now that you've had the chance, to meet your future student council leaders, I'd like to take a moment to say thank you. We've actually had a year filled with lots of fun events and I'm glad we finally got to do Grade Wars again. It's been about two years since we last did it and it went really well this year. <clears throat> and I know next year is gonna be a great year because James and Anthony are absolutely gonna rock. I know we still have about two weeks of school left but I'm happy to say it's been an honor being your guys' president. I wish you all the best for next year. Prez out.